Hi everyone, it's Stu here from 3B and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about this stuff. No! But yes, I am. And the confusion, the incorrect information, the hysteria, the amount of abuse I get about using this stuff, and why I believe I know that you should use this, and why it's used very, very much in the electronics industry. So, let's begin. So isopropyl alcohol. Okay, now a lot of you may have seen my very quick, off-the-cuff, cleaning a TV thing, um, which I did in about two minutes whilst I was cleaning the house. And I was using isopropyl alcohol. Now, there's a key word in what I'm saying here, isopropyl alcohol. Not um, any other form of alcohol, not uh, ethyl alcohol, which is very greasy and cor corrosive, isopropyl alcohol. Now, there's a reason why I use isopropyl alcohol and I don't use anything else. The reason being is very simple. Isopropyl alcohol is used very much within the electronics industry. They use it as a cleaner, they use it as a means of getting any sort of dust, grease, fingerprints, anything off any electronics. They use it on uh, in the manufacturing process, in the cleaning process, and in all areas. In all areas. Now, if it were that bad, think about this, and they use it in very sensitive, you know, on, 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 on boards, on panels, on... you name it. It's used a lot. A lot. And they use it because it leaves no residue, it evaporates very quickly, it's incredibly effective at getting rid of grease, germs, anything you care that it wants to get rid of, it will get rid of. It's affordable, it's safe if you're not stupid, and it's about the most effective means of getting rid of marks, grease, germs, anything that you care to get rid of, off and surface. And what's more, it's not damaging, so it won't damage your TV, it won't damage your phone, it won't... It just won't, people. Even though I get an awful lot of people in the thread about cleaning your TV who delight in telling me I'm wrong. But needless to say, isopropyl alcohol is safe. Don't drink it because that's stupid. Don't set fire to it because that's stupid. Just use your noggin. Make sure whatever, if it, say if it's a TV, if you're cleaning your TV, make sure it's turned off and cool. And then just spray a bit on, wipe it off, and all your grease and mucky fingerprints and whatever, if you've got kids, it's a godsend. Uh, come off. You can use it on pretty much any surfaces. The only surfaces you shouldn't use it on, again, unless you're really stupid, is wooden polished surfaces. Because this will remove all form of, uh, you know, it destroys grease and fats and everything. And when you think about polishing a wooden surface and it's kind of polished with waxes and so on, it's going to remove all that very, very quickly. And you're going to end up with a very, very odd looking table or whatever it is. So, yeah, that's it. That's my rant over. I keep pressing the point about using this stuff. I know people get very upset. But it isn't as bad. Just make sure it's isopropyl alcohol. 70% um, is good enough. Don't, don't do it near a burning fire. Don't drink it. Um, you know, just common sense, people. Which, sadly, a lot of people seem to lack these days. And then they go, oh, you're wrong. I've set fire to my hamster whilst cleaning his cage. <sighs> it's all your fault. It is. Of course it is. It is my fault. 
So there we go. You can use it on pretty much anything, not wooden surfaces, not around naked flames. Don't drink it. It's incredibly effective. It's used within the industry all over the place. And it's possibly the best means and ways of cleaning anything that you have, be it your TV, your phone, your surfaces, your keyboard, your mouse, anything. And what's more, and it's good for remote controls as well, it gets off snot, it gets off greasy fingerprints, it gets off chicken juice and all sorts of nasty that builds around your remote control. It's ideal for that. So, that's me, rant over. Go buy some. It's so much cheaper than any other form of alternative that's out there. Go do it. Okay, thanks again. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.